Tell us what the current status is of the SJ30i. Yeah, the I, it, we're coming through the certification program. Uh, we did our first flight on October 9th with the new avionics from Honeywell. We'll work through that full program. We've got about 15 months left and we'll start delivering airplanes. Tell us about the avionics package. It's a Honeywell suite. We branded it as CyberVision. It's a four screen, gives all the bells and whistles, brings the airplane up into a state of the art system as opposed to the older system that was certified under the SJ30-2. What kind of uh, certification program is involved at this point to upgrade this airplane? Most of it right now will be uh, autopilot testing. We've got to redevelop the autopilot with the new avionics and a lot of flight tests associated with that. We'll probably put another 300 hours on the flight test airplane. A lot of work, but uh, we're excited about it. It'll bring the airplane back to market in a way that will be difficult to compete with. Is it attracting the attention yet that you expect or hope for? Yeah, we've had a great show so far. I think sometimes I ought to rename it the Phoenix, coming back out of the fire. But it's a great airplane and a lot of interest in the airplane right now. What does the production schedule look like once certification is passed? We've got to stand that facility back up. We've got all the tools in place. We're ready to go, but it's, it's, well, we're not going to overextend ourselves. I think the first year we've got two aircraft delivered, and I think then we go to four and start building from that. And how will the aircraft price out? The I configuration, basic unit, we're starting at about $8.5 million. Mm -hmm. The X configuration, which will include the new FJ44-3 engines, will start out at about 8.9. X program, we're, we're re-engining, putting a little more thrust behind it. It'll give us a little bit more range and a little bit more efficient. We should be up over in the 2,600, 2,700 mile range. What is it that's different about the company now that speaks well for the future? Our parent company is a manufacturing company. We've been in aerospace manufacturing for 30 years. We've taken a very conservative approach with it. We have very, very little debt on the company and we're funding out of operations as well as private equity investments. Mm -hmm. We may not be doing it as fast as everybody wants us to, but we're doing it controlled. And we believe that the product is a great product and we want to be able to go across the finish line and keep producing. We don't want to deliver the first airplane isn't our goal. Our goal is bringing the X to market and staying long term. Outstanding. Chuck, you got to give me a call when it's time to go fly. I'll put you in the airplane as quick as we can. Sounds like a plan. Thank you so much, sir. Aero TV is brought to you by... Now, the MD302 Standby Attitude Module, SAM, is even smarter. Introducing the MD32 Magnetometer, designed specifically for SAM. This optional magnetometer delivers independent heading reference. Its unique mounting flexibility, compact size, and convenient cockpit calibration ensures an easy, low-cost installation every time. Available from your local avionics dealer. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller.